Hello everyone and welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sunny's arrest, Michael and Dex's secret meeting news that shocked Carly. According to General Hospital, Violet Finn will oppose to eating at Kelly's when she arrives with Elizabeth Baldwin. Hudson West's Jake Weber and Hamilton Finn Violet will object and say they can't dine there once anything halts her in her tracks. Of course, in the end, it'll probably turn out to be something insignificant and foolish. There is a considerable probability that Finn, Liz, and Jake will persuade Violet that it is, in fact, the ideal location for a meal, so some entertaining situations are in store. Esme Prince, Avery Pohl, in the meantime, will realize that Trina Robinson and Spencer Cassidine need some alone time, so she will empty the area and give them some peace. Esme might even think about having her own apartment with Ace Cassidine since she'll likely contact someone and inquire as to if any openings exist. What occurs on Monday at General Hospital? When Spencer is back with Trina, he will pay attention to her worries about how much time he has been spending with Esmond and how challenging that has been for her. In addition to apologizing for their difficult situation, Spencer will reassure Trina that he doesn't like Esmond's continual presence either. Spencer will promise to back up his claim that Trina is the only person for whom he has feelings after he has made that obvious. Spencer will give her a present he's been hoarding for a while, so he'll probably give her the turtle doves that were originally Cyrus Reynolds. Spencer should give the turtle doves to Trina as a sign of their love. Victor Cassidine made sure he got those following the will reading. Trina and Spencer might end up having sex in the bedroom because we already know they're set to take a significant step in their relationship. TJ Ashford and Molly Lansing Davis will make a significant announcement at the Savoy. The surrogacy will be announced to Jordan Ashford and Curtis Ashford. So all that's left to do is wait to see if Andre Gates, Lily Ann Harrison, becomes pregnant after the surgery. Since Tracy Quartermain isn't giving up, Maxie Jones will update Felicia Scorpio on the latest information regarding the lawsuit. Maxie has been concerned about her financial status and what the future holds because Lucy Coe isn't giving up either. Maxie will nonetheless promise that she will make it happen, regardless of what happens. Felicia will undoubtedly support Maxie in her goal of providing her children with a happy, secure life in their new house, because it sounds like she will be determined to do so. Michael Corinthos will advise Dex Heller in the courts to move quickly, because they have a private meeting to discuss the allegations against Sonny Corinthos. Prior to his arraignment, Sonny will also speak with Nana Reeves and Christina Corintos Davis. Sonny will appear completely at ease as he reassures Christina and Nina that he has this under control, in spite of their misgivings. Since Sonny still seems to know more than he's admitting, he might be sure that he will escape without punishment. We'll have to wait and see how the remainder of the narrative develops, but Sonny may have set everything up as part of a cunning plot. Carly will receive a call at Kelly's and react with astonishment. How is news coming out so quickly? In the Monday GHP clip, Carly asks. According to General Hospital teasers, after Sonny's forthcoming confession, Carly will have a lot of questions for him. Morris Bernard of General Hospital talks about his milestone tour. Daytime icon Morris Bernard has been on the milestone tour, traversing the nation performing live events to entertain and later meet and greet his devoted fans, as he marks his 30th anniversary as Sonny on General Hospital. This trip has been incredible. I can't even begin to describe it. The Emmy winner wrote on Instagram. First of all, it is a blessing to board four or five planes without experiencing any fear. I am a proud father to be on stage with my son and see him perform. But most importantly, it has been a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to be able to amuse and commune with the audience. Joshua, the son of Bernard and Paula, has been traveling with him and has even participated in the special occasion by singing. Additionally, there have been special guests at several performances, 
including Evan Hofer and Eden McCoy in Kansas City, Drew Cheatwood, ex Milo, in Detroit, and Drew Cheatwood. My shows have laughter, some tears, state of mind, GH, and a lot of sexy, Bernard assured viewers. You'll feel purified when you get home. Absolutely lovely has been the audience. The GH and state of mind supporters are the most devoted and admirable fans in the entire world, as I've said a thousand times before and will repeat again. The Milestone Tour will sadly conclude this month with two last performances in Tampa and Orlando, Florida, on September 9 and 10, respectively. If you live in those areas, you can get information and tickets at coastalentertainment.com. And if you're one of the many admirers who missed out on this special tour, hopefully Bernard will be doing a lot more touring in the future now that he's conquered his fear of flying. Because the fans love meeting him just as much as he loves meeting them. Nina asks Carly for assistance. In these general hospital spoilers, trouble is guaranteed. Chase is disappointed with Brooklyn. Alexis is upset with Molly and Christina. Jocelyn wants Trina to tell the truth. Felicia tries to stop Mac. Cody gets in touch with Sasha. Gladys has a private meeting, and a frantic Nana turns to Carly of all people. The move back in with Chase was prompted by Brooke Lynn, but things aren't turning out the way he had intended. He grouses, I thought you were moving in, not just staying the night. Will Brooke Lynn stay put or leave the current arrangement? Molly can hardly bear to look at her sister right now, and Christina would want to help her sister, as she utilizes a surrogate to have a child. And it appears that Alexis has had enough of her girls fighting needlessly. She commands, kiss and makeup now. Jocelyn is unwinding by the metro court pool when she notices Trina is only pretending to be fearless. Why is it not a concern for you that he is spending so much time with Esm? Joss queries her pal. Will Trina reveal her true feelings about the circumstance? Mac had no idea when Dante called, inquiring as to where Cody had vanished to. Mac still cares for Cody and wants to make sure he's okay, even though he doesn't know the man is his son. As they are sitting in Kelly's, he tells Felicia, I'm going to go and see him. She, however, swiftly halts him in his tracks. You're not, he insisted. Can she, though, stop him? Cody managed to deceive the medical staff and escape from his room to locate Sasha's after getting himself admitted to Ferncliff. He gently offers, take my hand, as Sasha nervously scans him. Will Cody's presence help or will he only make matters worse given all the medicines Dr. Montague has pumped her full of? Gladys is standing in a dark back alley when someone starts to approach her. She queries, What are we doing here? Who and why is she meeting with them? Nana asks Carly, an odd source of help, for help. She pleads, Help me. Please. But is the goal of this Sasha's escape from Ferncliff or Sunny's arrest? Carly would probably be more inclined to assist in one circumstance, but not the other because of this. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.